our praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakradash, Shalom to all the elders, all the apostles, all the Akim, that's pushing this word in the truth and sincerity, righteously spreading the word of truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I am Nagid, let's break bread. And this isn't going to be too long of a lesson. Let's get straight into it. The title of this lesson is going to be building the spiritual man to be stronger than the physical man. This is Ephesians chapter six, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, even though it gets hard in the flesh, the war is still in the spirit. So we build up the spirit man first rather than a physical man we serve the heavenly father in spirit and in truth matthew 26 and 41 reads watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak and we're gonna hold that precept and i'm gonna grab mark 14 and 38 watch ye and pray lest ye enter into temptation the spirit truly is ready but the flesh is weak. So in the spirit through Yahweh Shai, you're connected to the most high. The most high is our power source. Through the spirit, we are strong. Why do you think Satan wants to keep you cornerly engaged into physical things? It's because the flesh is weak. And if you don't build that spiritual man to overcome the physical man, you're going to fall for temptation. Philippians 2 and 5 says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was in the flesh, but he walked after things of the spirit. OK, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. This means we're not just being guided with a physical eye. We're walking and being guided with a spiritual eye, which is faith. But how are we going to use it? OK, if you're not building it up, how is your eye going to remain single if you're constantly distracted by carnality? See, we exist in a society. We live inside a world that advertises a carnal thought, but we must not conform to those carnal thoughts because that's where the temptation lies. OK, that's where your fear lies. OK, these are all things that are plague through the flesh and when Yahweh set up the bases of men okay which is Esau Edom to rule over you Israelites the only thing Esau is going to promote is those base thoughts man okay those base behaviors man all right to keep you operating inside of a lower vibration man where you can't tap into your power this is why the people that are of the world only know how to operate in that base mentality, man. OK, this is why scriptures say that man should not live by bread alone. By the fact that scripture is in Luke chapter uh, four and verse four. And Yahweh Shai answered him saying it was written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the most high. Why do you think Yahweh Shai said that? Yahweh Shah said that because he already knew that man cannot just exist by bread alone. OK, you have to feed that spiritual man that's inside that wants to go off, that wants to obey the flesh. OK, you have to feed that spiritual man instead of just feeding that physical man, because that physical man wants to feed into carnality, man. And living by bread alone is you seeking to please after the flesh. Living by every word of the most high Yahweh is you feeding through the spirit. OK, the way we feed through the spirit is through faith in living water. OK, and this living water is scripture. OK, believing in Yahweh Shah that he arose from the grave. All right. After being wrongly accused. OK, by his own. All right. For Yahweh Shai to have all that power, that's enough to strengthen your faith, man. All right. The more we walk in the spirit, the more perfect we become. John 12 and 50. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whosoever I speak, therefore, even as the father said unto me, so I speak. I'm going to go back a little bit to chapter four, verse 24. Yahweh is a spirit 
and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So Akiyam, we walk in truth, not boasting of ourselves. So Akiyam, this whole thing is about trying to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah because he's the one that's going to save us, okay? Because you can't get saved through man because every man has to work out their own salvation. So don't ever let this thing become a um, a carnal uh, thing to you, okay? Trying to seek to please man, to be accepted amongst men because this whole thing is about pleasing the Most High, being an acceptable sacrifice unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Now, if you went off and you wronged the brother, of course you should apologize for those things, okay? You shouldn't be uh, stuck in inside of your feelings, man, okay? Stuck in that, 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 that spirit of pride, man, okay? Because you don't want to be in that spirit, all right? Because pride coming before destruction, man, all right? But at the end of the day, man, we have to seek out of those things that are spiritual and that are edifying and that are expedient, to the spirit and to uh, repenting, man. Okay, connecting, make sure that we're right with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, Romans 8 and 9 reads, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you, now if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. And like I just said, things that go back to that pride demon, okay? The lust of the flesh, okay? The lust of the eye, the pride of life, okay? That's part of that carnality clutter that Satan plays your strings, man, okay? This is what Satan plays off of, man, okay? Showing we belong to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is us walking in the spirit, not in the flesh, we shall all seek to be made perfect, just like our Lord, Yahweh Shah, who came to earth as a man, okay, in his filthy flesh, but he walked in the spirit. And that should be our inspiration, okay? That's motivation, man, all right? To try to get to that higher level, man, okay? Because at the end of the day, uh, uh, brothers and sisters out there, okay, we got to have a strive to uh, be made perfect, man, Okay? We have to be like King David, man. All right. We must seek out those things in high places, man. Okay. And those high places start with you seeking out those things that are in the spirit and not in the flesh. Hopefully you are edified. I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hawa Kakradash, Shalom.